What's up guys, welcome to the Macintosh Review. In this video I'm going to be showing you just how 3D Touch works on the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus. And I'm going to be showing you some of the main ways you can interact with your new iPhone that make it a better iPhone than the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. So let's jump right into the video. First off, you can interact with applications on the home screen using 3D Touch, something we've never had before, and it gives you quick access to some of the most used tasks on your iPhone from day to day. For example, I can go ahead and actually 3D Touch into the camera app here and take take a selfie, record a video, record slow-mo video, or take a photo. You can also do this on the App Store, you can redeem and search, you can do this on the Calendar app to add an event. Basically all applications, even third-party applications, are rolling this out and it makes it just a little bit quicker to access your most used tasks on the iPhone 6S. Now some people aren't super thrilled with this but because they are used to simply tapping and opening the application and tapping again to do their task, but I like it. It gives you just a quick new way to interact with your device as a whole. Also, you can get quick previews of actual text messages, emails, links, anything like that. What this means is it's sort of like a quick look on OS X. So I've opened up an email here, and if I want to view the Twitter link without actually opening Twitter, all I have to do is 3D Touch halfway in here, and it gives me a preview of my tweet that I tweeted last week without actually opening Twitter or Safari. I can go ahead and let go, and it's gone. I'm right where I was before. I can also pop right into the application by holding and further force touching in, and it opens up my tweet in the Twitter application. So Apple calls this peeking and popping. It's basically like quick look on OS X. It gives you a quick way to preview things and pop right into the application if you want to before actually opening it. Also, you can do this with maps, addresses, you can do this with phone numbers, contacts, anything of that sort. Similar to this, it will give you a preview of whatever it is you're looking at before actually opening it fully. I like it a lot. Great new way to interact with your device. Further, you can switch applications using 3D Touch. You can go ahead and force touch in here and 3D Touch from the side and get the multitasking interface. You can also just swipe directly into the next application. Works very well, new way to multitask, and I think a lot of people are going to use this. Very, very cool. I like it a lot. Great new way to interact with multitasking. So overall, those are the main ways you can interact with your device using 3D Touch. Those are the three or four main ways. I think 3D Touch is a cool new way to interact with your iPhone and it's going to actually be more implemented into third-party apps and have a lot more potential in the near future. So hopefully you guys like this video. If you did, I'm going to be doing more reviews on the iPhone 6S in the near future, so be sure to subscribe and rate thumbs up as well as follow my social networks down there in the description. I've also got links to get paid iOS and Android apps for free, so check those out. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.